Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. In this particular YouTube video, I'm going to be discussing a bit of Cantor's theory of infinities. And I'm going to show you that Cantor has done quite a few absurd and ridiculous things. And <clears throat> uh, before I do that, uh, Cantor is known for saying, making statements of this kind of effect. Okay? So, for example, Cantor will say that infinity plus infinity is equal to infinity. <clears throat> but then, uh, well, before I go on, the reason he'll say this is that, is that, if you have, let's say, a line segment over here, a short line segment here and a, and a longer line segment there, you can actually map distances. Okay, You can map this distance to this distance, this distance to this distance, and this distance to this distance. And <clears throat> this is actually his idea regarding bijective cardinality. Okay, Now, Cantor was an incredible fool because he thought that you could actually map points. So every point on this line he thought could be mapped to every point on this line. Well, first of all, a point has no extent and no dimension. So that's not possible. You may retort, well, what about a function <clears throat> that takes uh, an input and from this line and places it on this line here? Well. Think about it. If you have a rational number on this line and it's taken to another rational number on this line, <clears throat> then that's acceptable. But if you have something like pi or e or square root 2, these are not numbers. These are incommensurable magnitudes. And they may or may not go to a rational number or they may go to another incommensurable magnitude. Since None of these here actually have numbers corresponding to them, only rational number approximations. To say that points on this line are mapped to this line here is absolutely ridiculous. So his theory is, is really not about mapping points from one line to another line, but mapping distances. And there's nothing new here because cartographers, long before Cantor, knew that you could take a smaller line and scale it. So. For example, if you had a line like that and twice the size of that line, then <clears throat> uh, the distances here were scaled to twice the length on that line there. Okay, so it works something <coughs> something like that. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, um, that's really what Cantor was going on about there. But now, having said that, Cantor went a little further and he said that infinity minus infinity is undefined. And you can understand why he said that, right? Well, again, let's look at the diagram. If you have uh, this sort of thing, and you subtract this infinity here, you still have these two infinities here, right? So th there's no way to say <coughs> um, uh, what will happen if you have an infinity minus another infinity. But in this uh, particular video, I'm going to show you that Cantor made a big mistake and that one can actually prove that if what he says is true, then this here is actually equal to zero. And I'll show you why that is so. Of course, <clears throat> before I continue, infinity is a junk concept. So none of this here actually makes sense. And infinity has no place in mathematics or any field of rational thought. Uh, all right, so now let's look at a proof that this particular statement here must really be true. Otherwise, uh, in Cantor's uh, theory, otherwise what I'm about to show you would not work. So let's see what it is I'm about to show you. Very well. Um, you may or may not have come across this particular identity. Let me write it down. 
Okay, that is exactly equal to <coughs> to this. Okay, and it's very easy to show this, and that's what I'm going to show you now. This particular fraction here is actually equal to one over one minus x minus x and plus one over one minus x. I just split up the fraction. Okay, and now <coughs> we all know that this here is actually equal to what? 1 plus x plus x squared dot 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 plus x n plus x n plus 1 n plus 2 plus dot 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 yes and of course <coughs> this particular ratio here is equal to what? minus x n plus 1 plus x n plus 2 dot 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 right so now if these particular terms here represent positive infinity then so do these now watch what happens in order for us to prove this statement here the sum, the sum of this and this must be zero, right? Well, that means infinity minus infinity must be zero. So once again, the father of all mathematical cranks got it wrong. And that's what happens when you start off with ill-formed concepts like Cantor did. Cantor's work is replete with ill-formed concepts and nonsense which he uh, which he which he actually injected into uh, mathematics and has really uh, taken the entire study of the su subject backwards many hundreds of years <clears throat> well this is really what I wanted to show you um, and if you go to Wolfram Alpha, you'll see here that if you ask them to evaluate infinity plus infinity, they tell you that the result is infinity. And if you ask them for the difference, if you ask the engine to find the difference, it tells you it's undefined. Well, if it's undefined, then this here, then this here should be undefined too, right? But it's not. It's exactly equal to this, which is finite. So it's very well defined. And this here, of course, is just a load of nonsense which Cantor introduced in addition to all the other rot that he's injected into mathematics and created his fool's paradise um, in which there are uh, thousands of uh, mathematicians in universities and institutions worldwide teaching his nonsense and poisoning the minds of youth. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. Uh, as always, my presentations are impromptu, so if I've made any particular error, you're welcome to place a comment in the video section. And it is moderated. Uh, if you are in any way disrespectful, you will be blocked, so don't even bother commenting. And uh, I invite you to check out all my other videos. I have over 60 videos on many hot topics. And also, I invite you to visit my new calculus site. My new calculus site. The new calculus is the first and only rigorous formulation of calculus in human history. My name is John Gabriel, and this is a new calculus channel. Goodbye.